Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So today I'm gonna to show you how I made this. This is a five piece raised panel door and I made the whole thing on the table saw. That is the only tool that was used to make this panel. Now this panel is actually out of pine. It looked like this before this. So stick around at the end of the video. I'm gonna show you a quick little tip on how to get a pretty cool finish on pine. So this is actually half of a panel I picked up from Home Depot. They sell pre-laminated panels. I think it was about eight or nine bucks. It wasn't expensive. So to get started, I ripped off four pieces, two and a quarter inches wide from the panel. And then I needed to create a dado in the sides of each of those pieces that I cut. So to do that, I just raised my blade up three eighths of an inch and moved my table saw fence over close to the blade and incrementally moved it in until I created a groove or dado that was just about three eighths of an inch wide. Now to create the panel itself, I put a piece of plywood over my table side at an angle to the blade and raised the blade up a little bit at a time, about an eighth of an inch at a time, and ran that panel over across the top of that blade at an angle. Now on the last couple passes, go real slow and you'll actually get a pretty good finish provided you have a decent blade in the saw. Now because this is pine, super easy to hand sand out. Next thing I needed to do was to cut the rail, which is the bottom and top section of the door, and the styles, which are the side pieces of the door. So rather than measuring it, I just laid everything out. Put all my marks where they needed to be and came back over to the table saw with the table saw sled and cut everything to length. Now on the rails, the top and bottom piece, I need to cut out a little tenon that will slide into that groove that I created earlier, or dado that I created earlier. Now to do that, I'm just using my table saw sled and just removing a little bit of that material so I have that tenon sticking out from the rail on both sides of the rail. Once I had one side done, I flipped it over and did the other side. Now after everything was cut, I gave the panel a light sanding and started putting the whole thing together. Now this I'm just gluing together. It doesn't need any more fasteners than that. Now you want to be careful not to get glue around the panel itself because you want the panel to be able to move back and forth in those slots or dados. Now after gluing up, I made sure it's square and I clamped it off camera and then after the glue had dried, it came back and gave it a light sanding. Now you can see on the ends, the ends are sticking past just a little bit. I left those a touch long. That way I can come back and clean them up with the table saw. And that's pretty much it. Once you have that system down, you can make these doors really quickly and very effectively with just the table saw. Now a lot of people don't like the look of pine, I happen to, so this is a quick finishing tip that you can get some interesting effects. I started by putting a very light layer of nitrocellulose lacquer on, then used some inexpensive black spray paint around the raised section of the panel and around the edges of the door itself. And then before the paint actually completely set up, I came back with a Minwax stain and just put a big heavy layer of stain over that. You can use any color you choose. Now after it sets for about a minute and a half, I lightly come back with a rag and tap it to give it that kind of figured effect. Let it dry for about an hour after that and then put another coat of nitrocellulose lacquer on top of it. Now in this case I'm putting a really heavy coat. You don't really need to. In fact you get a better finish with lighter coats unless you have some practice with a spray gun. I encourage you to do so. Lots more fun finishing tips, builds and stuff coming down the pipe. And don't forget, if you'd like to see what's happening in the shop as it's happening in the shop, check me out on Instagram. I'm always posting stuff over there. It's a great place to say hi. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll be talking to you soon. 
Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. So a month ago I started something I call Subscribeathon, where I shouted out three channels and I sent one of those channels something and the person who found it, I sent them a $100 Amazon gift card. Now that was a really cool thing to do. It was fun to see the growth in the channels that I shared and it was just fun to have some talk, some back and forth with the new subscribers over there. So this month I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm doing a Subscribeathon for three channels that I love, Mancrafting, Geeksmithing, and B2 Builds. And I'll put all their links down below and the same thing applies. So this month I'm gonna send one of them this panel that I made. When you see it in one of their videos, make sure to be the first person to say, I found it, and I'll send you a $100 Amazon gift card just for playing along. Now, growing the community is a really important thing to me, and Mancrafting, B2 Builds, and Geeksmithing have some pretty awesome channels, so I'd highly encourage you to take the time to go check them out. Again, links are in the description box below, and thanks again for watching.